Hi everyone and welcome to another shaving video and a bit of a mixture of products today so uh, how's it going all right um, what I'm going to use today is my Edwin Jagger DE89L three-piece razor and a feat of engineering beautiful and uh, not aggressive in my opinion and there is a slight overhang of the blade as you can see but uh, a new blade I'm going to use today and this was one of many sent to me a while ago and it's a super max superb stainless sunrise so super max sunrise never used one of them before and this is what it looks like in the razor or in the head so as I say, three piece, three piece razor. Put that together nice and tight. Check the blades level, yeah. So looking forward to that. This is two days growth or the end of the second day. So, um, oh, oh, hey, okay. you wait till you see this. Gonna give that a treat today. West Indian limes. Do you want to have a go on there? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Come on. It's like liquid silk. Using my red Omega badger brush. Look at this. Peaked. Look. Oh, go on then. God. You're worse than me. You were wanting. Hey. This is lovely. Just gonna wet my face. I've come out of the shower. I've had a haircut. I've had a haircut. Wrecking the place. And uh, I needed that haircut. It was. Uh, it was getting on my nerves a bit. Somebody did comments. I think. Hey, you need a haircut. <laughs> so thanks very much. You were right. Okay. Wet my face. Dry my hands and away we go. So, using the True Fit and Hill. Oh, God. Oh, what am I going to say now? Say nothing. I'm in too much uh, enjoyment here. If you've never tried this, all I can say is it's like getting 10 limes, cut them in half, squeeze them all and then put your head over, you know, the dish. It's like a blast of citrus fumes. Oh, it's lovely. If you like citrus stuff, you know, if you don't like it, it'll be a nightmare for you. <laughs> so, and then using the Edwin Jacket DE89L into the first pass. I'm using a Supermax, and that's a good blade, you can tell straight away. It feels it. Gotta make a note of this. It's one of those moments, this blade suits this razor beyond belief. A super max, super stainless sunrise, or super max sunrise as I call it. That's cutting through it, but no. Irritation, no clogging. That's excellent. Very pleased with that. So far. I've said in previous shaving videos, the um, DE shaving is so personal in regards to what works, what doesn't work. And that covers 
all aspects of shaving this way from razors to blades blades in witch razors colognes soaps methods of shaving it's all personal and this blade matches this razor for me you can tell sometimes you'll click and you think yep yeah, them two go together and as sad as this may sound God, it's hot in here uh, I um, make little notes after the video I'll make a little note Edwin Jagger DE89 Supermax Sunrise and I know what it means anyway there's a little tip for you Truefit and Hill West Indian Limes here we go for another like jumping into a swimming pool full of lime juice well a bit of an exaggeration maybe but you know what I mean look at this I mean come on hey you should be sat up bolt up right in your seats here <laughs> thinking um, people could hear me out there they must think these nuts are fella well they think it and you know it <laughs> across the growth this is a good soap but there's uh, there is a slickness left but not a lot and so far this is lovely not an aggressive razor this um, I've said it before if somebody's starting out in de shaving um, and let's say you've been using a Wilkinson sword classic or a very mild razor and you wanted to up your game I just caught myself then somewhere I felt something then uh, and you wanted to up your game I would suggest yeah, there. I would suggest a Nedwin Jagger D eighty nine. Lovely. That's not concentrating, I see. Right, before I carry on, I'm gonna sort that out. It's not bad, but it's gonna make a mess of it. Just bear with me one minute. I'm gonna sort that out now. the septic pencil on it there we go it just stops it getting messy there we go we can continue with this beautiful shave across the growth and still no irritation whatsoever Yes. I tell you, I've never caught myself like that before. Just on there, you could just feel a pinch. But that's lovely. But as you can tell, it stops the bleeding because it'd be running down here. Um, so be a slight. We should concentrate. You see, instead of talking and talking. <laughs> I'm 
Well, it's certainly getting cold and out here, but having said that, nothing to what we could have, because it's, um, you know, we're nearly into Christmas. Look at this. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely amazing. Right, against the growth last pass, and listen to this. No pressure. Whatsoever. Rinse regular. So, uh, has uh, any of you been making wish lists of, for what you want for Christmas? Razors, blades, colognes, soaps. It's a lovely when you're shaving. I can smell it. Oh, it's a, yeah. this is nice. Ask for this for Christmas West Indian limes, true fit and hill. If you like citrusy stuff, it's lovely. Slicing through that. There is a slickness there, so I can go like this without any, but no pressure. Once you've mastered that, I think you're laughing. So start across the moustache and then twist slowly. I know a few people have tried this method and they said it's made a big difference for them. And it's nice, that's what's nice on here because you can share in videos, in comments, different ideas and so many people can see them and uh, hopefully it helps. We all help each other. That blade is lovely. Any pickups? Ooh, very little. God, that's very, that's amazing. Very little, and that's not an aggressive razor. And really, this is nitpicking, but there is a little bit of a. Here, eh? There is good audio feedback on this. Right. Oh, that's lovely. Excellent. So I'm just going to rinse off. I'm not using any um, cologne after the rinse off. I'll tell you why in a minute. And as you can see that septic pen did its job even during the shave I do because some people carry on and leave it bleed I don't there's nothing just a you know because it stops a lot of mess right which hazel so I've rinsed off and I always put too much of this hang on just a, there you go for one side and put some and this won't sting not a pleasant smell this you know just standard witch hazel smell 
but uh, it soon disappears. And the reason I'm not using cologne then is because I'm going out after I've finished this video and uh, I want to put some cologne on. So now for this, I'm going to use this again today. It was lovely. Sensitive Tesco body lotion. You don't need a lot of it either. Just a little blob into the hands. You can do your hands good as well. Lovely. No scent to this, just the base cream smell. But it works lovely. It's for well for sensitive skin, so Nice, nice and protected, neck area especially. Rub it the rest into your hands if you got any. So you can have two birds with one stone. And then, just to finish off, because I'm going out, I'm going to use some Jean Paul Gaultier. This is lovely stuff. So, there we go. Very happy. So, uh, just to recap quickly, use the Edwin Jagger DE89L, three piece, non adjustable, and not aggressive. It's a mid range razor for me in aggression. And I used a blade called the Supermax Super Stainless Sunrise. And that is an excellent match for this razor for me personally stayed sharp you could it was just perfect i can as soon as i use a blade in a razor i know if they match for me and that is a match so very happy with that i caught myself here so i used this septic pen only cheap thing and wet it even during the shave so that stopped any mess and then um, True Fit and Hill West Indian Limes Shaving Soap Cream, lovely. Oh, well, you know what I'm like. Red Mixing Bowl, the Omega Badger Brush, which again performed lovely, nice and soft. Um, oh, and the scent of that cream is lovely. And then some Witch Hazel. And then Tesco's Sensitive Body Lotion, lovely. And to finish off, some Jean-Paul Gaultier Eau de Toilette. Yeah, Eau de Toilette. And that leaves a very happy ending. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching yet again. And, um, have a great week, weekend, whatever, and uh, I'll see you in the next shame video.